This week, we received reports of an agreement between the United States and the Taliban that could lead to an end to the war in Afghanistan. This is the latest. I'm Scott Smith. I am Barmak Ashwak. Bilkis Ahmadi, and we are part of USIP's Afghanistan team. Could the U.S. Taliban deal lead to peace in Afghanistan? The key thing will be whether or not the Taliban will be able to maintain a reduction of violence in the first part of the implementation of the deal. That will be key to showing that they have command and control over their troops and they have a willingness for peace. If they're able to do that, then they've agreed to talk to the Afghan government. Those intra-Afghan negotiations, as we call them, will be the more complicated part. But if they can take place in an atmosphere of reduced violence and goodwill on both sides to find a political agreement, then the answer to this question is a hopeful yes. When will intra-Afghan negotiations begin and what will they focus on? It's expected that the intra-Afghan talks will begin within days after the signing of an agreement between the U.S. and Taliban. The intra-Afghan talk will focus on the future of Afghanistan, the structure and uh, makeup of the future Afghan government, Taliban place in that government, and other political uh, parties and groupings within Afghanistan. The talks between Afghans, the expectation is that, that they should be both inclusive of all Afghans and all Afghan groupings within the country, including women, minorities, and civil society. They should uh, see themselves involved in those talks, and they should be substantive in terms of the future of the country. Taliban should be welcome to join the Afghan government, not as a victor, but as a group of Afghans. What does this mean for Afghan women? This is a critical moment for Afghan women, as it is for the entire population in Afghanistan. This is a test for the Taliban to show that they have evolved and they believe in women's rights. This is also a test for Afghan government to support and protect women's rights in the negotiation. Afghan women have been loud and clear that they will not go back to the traditional roles and also to the era when they were publicly humiliated, they were excluded from social, political, economic affairs, and they were discriminated against. Afghan women are teachers, lawyers, judges, prosecutors. They're active in security forces, and that's a reality that Afghans from all fronts have to accept and live with.